I'm going to share online tutorials, books, etc. in this very video from which you can go and learn from. So I boiled down some of the resources that I personally use and that helped me a lot in my journey. For learning code Java, if you want to understand what are the topics you need to learn, I would highly recommend. Hey guys, this is Riddhi Datta. Welcome back to my channel and I'm back with yet another Java video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the resources that I use to learn code Java as well as some advanced concepts. And in the next video that is going to follow this video, I'm going to talk about the resources that you can use to learn Spring, which falls under backend development using Java. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, just a disclaimer before starting off with this video. Now, I know there are tons of resources out there on the internet and there are a lot of good resources as well, but I can't mention all of them in the video, otherwise you would get confused. So I boiled down some of the resources that I personally use and that helped me a lot in my journey. Compile all of these resources together and I'm going to share online tutorials, books, etc. in this very video from which you can go and learn from and I will attach the links to all of them in the description down below. Also, none of these courses have sponsored me, though I would have been very happy if they did, but no, none of these courses or books have paid me to tell or mention the name in this very video. So it's just based on honest experience. Okay, so now for learning code Java, if you want to understand what are the topics you need to learn, I would highly recommend you to go and check out this video that basically contains a syllabus of the topics that you need to learn in code Java. Now, if you're a complete beginner, I won't recommend you to start with a book. Rather, I would suggest you to start with this online free video of free code camp youtube channel it is a 9.5 hour course in one single video and it would get you started with the basics of java and it is completely for free now if you're done watching this video and if you want to learn java a little bit deeper you can consider this following books the first is the head first java by kathy sierra and bird Bates. it explains the concepts in a very simple language and is very very good for learning object-oriented programming concepts another book which you can follow is code java by horseman and cornell volume one it is basically a complex book for beginners but it is great for having a deeper understanding on the Java language. Another book which you can follow is Effective Java by Joshua Block. Basically, it tells you about the best by the founder of Java, that is James Gonsling himself. Now, once this is done, that is basically you have got your code Java covered. Let's talk about some of the resources that would be helpful for you to learn advanced Java. So the first important thing is collections because collections is a topic that will not only help you in DSA and solving DSA problems, but it is also widely used in the industry. For learning collections, you can go and watch my video. It's a one-off video where you would learn collections in depth and that would really set you up to start solving DSA problems. Also, if you want to learn Java generics, which I haven't covered yet on my channel, as well as learn more about collections dig much deeper, you can read this book by read this book on Java concurrency by Brian Gotts. It's one of the best books on multi-threading and concurrency that I'm currently reading right now. Although it is like not beginner friendly at all and it is optional and for senior engineers who wants to have a bigger understanding have a lot of inquisitiveness when it comes to concurrency. Next would be learning Java 8, all the important Java 8 features. And when I talk about Java 8, I talk about lambdas, streams, and options. Now again, I made a full course on lambdas. You can go and watch it on my YouTube channel. I will attach the link in description down below. And there I've talked about everything on lambdas, method references, etc. And that would set you up learning and understanding lambdas from depth. I haven't covered streams as of now, and I will cover that very soon. But in case you want to learn lambda streams or optionals, you can take Mosh Amidani's paid course, which is again a great course, and it would probably set you up for uh, these particular things. And if you want to dig more deeper and have more time and your patience, you can read this book java 8 in action where basically you would learn about lambdas streams as well as optionals along with that if you're interested for java certification courses you can follow ocj and ocgp by khalid mughal which is again one of the best books for java certification programs however it is not really required for getting a job in today's industry that's it for the video guys i hope you have enjoyed it in the next video i am going to talk about the resources for learning spring framework using java backend and if you like my content feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel because the numbers motivate me a lot to make such interesting content also comment down below that what is your favorite book when it comes to java and i would be more than happy to read it and let you know about the feedback having said that i bid adieu over here stay safe and i will see you in the next video